on location at the Moffat Mission, and um, this is actually the place where they printed the first Bibles into the African language, with uh, obviously with Robert Moffat that came, and David Livingston, and they came and they really gospelized Africa, and it all started right here. It was the first missions trip instructed by the Queen to Africa, and this, is, this location is still here today. We're going to show you around a little bit. We're going to show you his house. We're going to show you the first church in South Africa. So it's going to be really exciting to see, guys, and there's just so much history here, and cool. to think the first schools here and how Africa was gospelized from this location. It started here. The, you know, the Bible's first translated into the African language. We're so excited. It's such, so history rich here. So come with us, guys. Guys, there's the first school in Africa. It's the first one. Wow, this is amazing. First school in Africa, guys. You will see where the first Bible was printed in the African language, which is Tuana, and the first school in Africa, and the first printing press. And this has got such a lot of history, this place from the 18th century. Quite amazing. <laughs> schoolhouse guys from open in May 1829. Look at this mural, Moffat, 1795 to 1883. Robert Moffat. School desks, still here from 1829. Amazing. It's amazing. Look at the history guys, the first school in Africa. the printing press, the first printing press, where they translated the Bible into Tswana, the first translation of the Bible in Africa, into the African language. This was the press. This is the first printing press. This is where they first gospelized Africa. Moffat Church. Every week we'd come and ride horses here. It was amazing. But this church was built in the 18th century. Further down there is Robert Moffat's house. There's the first school in South Africa. It's amazing. This tree trunk has been here for so many years. I remember it as a little girl. Yeah, this is the Moffat Church. 1800s. It's still standing. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the bricks. Still standing strong. From 1820. 1820, eh? Where they used to preach, Robert Moffat. The church was built in 1820, guys. It still stands, and they still have services here. The building's like 200 years old. Look at it. 
it's so amazing to be here. If you guys could just be here to feel the the history, it's it's, in, it's incredible. These pews, 200 year old pews, still here, and they still have services here to this day. Just unbelievable. There's the church, guys. Built in the 18th century. One of the first, if not the first, church in Africa. Here's the old ox wagon where they used to travel on. What's left of it? It's the old ox wagon from the 18th century, guys. Still here. Yeah, these are the wheels. Back from the 18th century. Here it is here. Ancient, ancient, 18th century. Ella used to horse ride here as a little girl. It's incredible. I'm so glad that I'm here to see this and to share it with you guys. She used to come here and ride horses as a little girl uh, with her sister. Yeah, guys, this is the path where Bella used to ride horses as a little girl. Wow. Well, I used to ride horses, as James was saying. It was amazing. And here is the Moffat home. The actual home from 1820 still stands. Let's go inside, guys. This is it. This is the house that they lived in, guys. This is the house. Robert Moffat lived. And the table is still here. It used to be a bookshop, but now they restored it back to the kitchen as it was in the beginning. Some of this stuff is still here in the cupboards. It's amazing. <coughs> Look at that. Horns at the top. They're like ox horns or something. What does she want? The ox horns. Here's our old painting Robert Moffat. Here's Mrs. Mary Moffat. Postcard, you could buy them. When I was a little girl, this used to be the bookshop, and my mom bought me my very first um, children's Bible in this Moffat bookshop, but they've reverted it back to the kitchen. Mary Moffat. Just being here, guys, and history and you know, if it wasn't for Moffat coming here and building this place, that maybe the gospel wouldn't even be here yet, guys. It's amazing. This furrow that Robert Moffat built throughout the whole town of Kuruman comes from the eye. And here's a Mary Moffat garden where David Livingston proposed to Mary Moffat under the tree. This is the love garden. Wow. Wow, guys, this is where Livingston proposed to Moffat's daughter, Mary. Wow. Right here. It's 
Isn't it incredible? Look at the pomegranate trees. This look, again? look at this thorn bush. Look at the thorns on that what thing, man. That? Wow. Definitely don't want to get hit by that thing. Or walk into it or something, man. Dr. Livingston's travels, guys. And we're here. Robert Moffat's house. Wow, look at this wood.